Hello everyone, I'm Steve and welcome back to today's Retro Tech. We're looking again at the Samsung CRT. This is the consumer CRT that was RGB modded. And then I made the follow-up video where we had that vertical line collapse and it just had the one white line across the screen. So today the parts have all arrived and it's time to troubleshoot it fully, get it fixed, and get it ready for the Retro Gaming Show. Uh, so let's just go ahead now. We're going to take the TV apart, take a quick look at the chassis, and see where we need to go to get this repair started. Okay, but before we get to that, I really want to say thank you everybody who's recently subscribed and newer to the channel. Uh, please feel free to leave a comment or a like if you really enjoy the content. And uh, always hit the bell notification because I come out with at least two, uh, three, maybe four sometime videos a week. And I don't want you to miss on something that you really uh, want to know about. So again, let's just go in now and take a quick look at that chassis. Welcome back everyone. Here is our chassis for our Samsung CRT that was RGB modded and we had the vertical collapse problems. So today the chips come in which is this jungle chip that needs to be replaced. So let's, uh, as you notice I already had to remove the mod because it'll have to be redone. But simply to remove this chip it's just going to be like um, we're just going to use the same tools we used before and that's the desoldering tool. And I'm just going to go through here and desolder all these pins and then we'll pull this chip. So after taking all the solder off, our chip lifts out really nicely. There we go. A little messy. Here's our chip area again. I have our new chip in here, and just so you know, I go ahead and solder the corners first to make sure it's anchored in there nicely. Let's look at the front. And here you have the top of this new chip. Now I am concerned because it, I don't know, it says 2163, which I think is right, according to the part number, but it's a little bit different. Mine wasn't exactly a Samsung chip that came out of this, but you can see there where I've got the pins lifted. That's where I'll install the other lines. You want to try to get above or below the pins when you're replacing something like this so you don't bridge your connections. Just take your time. I just take my time when I solder. And even if I make a mistake, it's not a big deal. You can undo it. Alright, so there it is. The new chip's installed. We get the lines running out and in underneath. and uh, Or reverse that, I'm sorry. But the... Uh, chassis looks good so let's go ahead now and uh, reinstall this in the tube and fire it up for a test okay so look I'm zooming in over here so this is right next to my vertical and horizontal uh, ICs here that control that and I want you to see something right here this is what's causing our issues right here this resistor I finally noticed it it had become damaged and split here and I'm sure that's what's causing this problem. So if I change this resistor, I'm going to go find out what it is. And hopefully I have one in stock and I can change it. And that will repair this for sure. Now, even though I went through and changed all the caps and then changed the IC, that's not a big issue. That's actually going to end this vertical IC. That's all going to help this TV last longer. 
So even though I did some things that were probably not necessary, it's gonna, you know, add to the life of this TV. So anyway, I'm gonna go find out what this is and then we'll come back and pull it and replace it. Okay, so this is my replacement resistor. Now I need to let you know that this is a 56K ohm uh, resistor that I'm replacing and I didn't have a 56k ohm resistor in here but according to all uh, you know electrical or electronics for a resistor you could put them in series and as long as you equal out to what you need uh, this is basically a homemade 56k resistor because I had to combine three different to uh, get to that total number anyway let's put some uh, I'm gonna put some protection on this and then We'll get it reinserted and I'll show you how it looks after the install. Okay, so here it is reassembled and of course we'll just walk right around now and you can see that our vertical collapse is gone. So let's run some more tests. Okay, so I've got just uh, R-Type 3 running here through the Super Nintendo in RGB and I uh, just wanted you to see how the TV works. See how I've got some weird blooming effect that happens when no signals go in into the TV. I haven't really figured that out yet. I thought maybe if I put it in a more stable 5 volt place it would help, but it still seems to have the issue. However, it works perfectly beyond that. So um, thankfully, we got it to work. All right, everybody. So I owe a shout out to Phil Exile for helping me out with uh, troubleshooting this. He suggested that. There was probably a bad transistor, but it actually was a resistor that you saw that went bad. Uh, got basically cut in half uh, during some time when I was moving it around. So anyway, just want to let you know, quick shout out. Thanks a bunch, Phil. You really helped me uh, kind of troubleshoot this problem. Okay, so now the TV works and we know it's working. I want to just show you the back here. Like I added this mod in this little hole right here. Uh, it's a stereo audio out. So now instead of just mono audio for the TV, I went ahead and unwired that on the back end of the SCART input inside here. I unwired that mono audio and now I um, upgraded it to the stereo out. So any kind of stereo out plug or adapter will work now with this TV. Alright everybody, well there you have it. Our TV is completely fixed. We fixed our vertical uh, collapse there. So that just happened to be a resistor and it wasn't even any of the parts were changed. But thankfully those parts that were changed are only going to help this TV last longer. Uh, just remember the last mod I did was at Stereo Audio Out. So I'm going to go ahead right now and uh, turn this sound up a little bit so you can t hear it. Okay, so there you have it. Take a listen. Sounds pretty good coming out of there and uh, picture quality is great. So remember, if you're going to be at the uh, old gaming show in Nashville this upcoming weekend, November 9th, 10th, and 11th, please come by and see us at the Retro Tech booth. I will be there all weekend, and I will have this uh, RGB modded TV with me, so come check it out. Anyway, thanks again for watching Retro Tech, and uh, have a great day.